All right, computer graphics couldn't be there today, so I'm going <coughs> to excuse me show you what we're going to work on. We're on our, our third uh, animation trick here. It's copying and pasting frames, and we're going to use what's called a cycle. Animators very often use what's called a cycle if they're going to do um, like repetitive motion. Here's an example. Uh, this is a walk cycle. Let me scroll that up a little bit. If somebody was trying to draw an animation, uh, you know, the step, the, the positions that your body goes into when you're walking kind of repeat themselves over and over. And if you look at these different drawings of this little cartoon character, you can see kind of how that works. You know, one leg picks up and then it moves forward and it goes back down. The other leg picks up and it's a cycle. It happens over and over and over. Uh, the same thing is true here if we look at what would be called a run cycle. If it, you know, It's just um, a figure that's running and you see the legs in different positions. The knee drives forward and, and then it comes down. The other knee drives forward. And that happens over and over and over. So sometimes when you're animating, you, you are creating repeated motion, something that kind of happens over and over and over. Well, so if you can do that, if you can create just one cycle, then there's a trick of copying and pasting frames where you can make that action happen over and over and over in your movie. And, and what we're going to do today, let me go back to my website here, we're going to make a little stick figure, do a jumping jack, but then we're going to use the cycle that we create um, to make him do a, a, you know, at least 10 jumping jacks. He can do a whole bunch of jumping jacks. All right, so I do have a handout for this. If you go to my help page and go to graphics, and, and here it is. And, and the important thing on the handout is just knowing what is required. Uh, this figure is going to have to do at least 10 jumping jacks, but most of that, and I'm getting a little load there, sorry. Most of that is going to uh, be done with copying and pasting frames. All right. Um, so it, your whole movie on the required list here, your whole movie is going to have to be at least 40 frames. When you create your jumping jack cycle, you have to use at least four frames to do that. And I'm going to demonstrate this. If this sounds confusing to you, stick with me. Keep watching. You'll, you'll get what I, I mean here in just a minute. Um, so you have to use at least four frames when you're making your little actor, your little stick figure, do one jumping jack, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I mean. And then once you do one cycle, where he does one jumping jack, we're going to copy and paste those frames so that the figure does at least ten jumping jacks. So you know, the real work is getting one jumping jack done, and then after that it becomes really easy. Uh, you can do. You can draw with the paintbrush if you want, or you can use the line tool. I'll show you kind of the difference between those here in just a second. Doesn't even really have to have a face. Um, and you know, when you do a jumping jack, uh, most of you have done them before. You, you actually jump a little bit. You actually rise up a little. And I, I'm not. I don't know that I'm really going to do that on mine. You could try that if you want to. That that you could actually make it look like the character is jumping up in the air a little bit. I'm not going to on mine. You know, I'm not going to really worry about making it rise up. I'm just going to more work with the arms and the legs. Uh, save your work on your network drive. You could call it copy paste because that's really the main idea of what we're doing today. Or you could call it jumping jack if you want to. Turn it in on Schoology. When you have it done on Schoology, it's going to look like this. This copy paste frames thing right here. All right. Now let's go over to Flash. And I've got two copies of, a, of, of an example. Look at this one. All right, here, this this guy I drew with the paintbrush. All right, so he does a series of jumping jacks. Let's watch it one more time. All right, now here's another a copy, another copy. Let me fit this in, and I'll run this one. Now this one I drew with the line tool, and. You know, it's it's a different. That's a different look. It does not look the same as this one. I don't know which one you like better, but you could do it either way. You know, this one's done with the paintbrush, and this one over here was done by a circle tool and a line tool. And I, I'm going to show you a couple of things that might help you make a decision here as we go. All right, so let's go to work on this. Um, I'm going to make a new action script 3.0. If you want to change the color of the stage, you can. I don't think I'm going to in this movie. I'm just going to leave my stage white, but you can change it if you want. Now let's look at something here. 
if if you do it like if I come along here, if I use the if I take the oval tool and I draw like a head here. All right, I'll just use that for head. And then I take the line tool. And by the way, when, when you're doing the line tool, there's a stroke size thing. Uh, and I, I'm going to put it on maybe about eight. All right, so I, I've got a black line, and I've set my stroke size on eight. And so I could draw like a neck and an arm that sticks out here and an arm that sticks out here and a body and then a leg and then another leg. All right, that's just click and drag. Or if you got a, uh, if you're using a tablet, you just you know tap and drag. Now here's here's how you would do it if you're going to do it using the line tool. You know here I got my character standing there, and I would press F6 to add a new frame. All right, this is one where you press F6 to add a new frame. I would go get the black arrow tool, and grab the end of his hand or the end of his arm. You see what I can do? Now, this doesn't work with the paintbrush tool. This works if you do it with the line tool. I can grab the ends of his, like, like where his hands would be and where his feet would be, I can grab those. So then what I, what I would do here is press F6 and start to move his hands up a little bit. Now, what's the other thing that happens when you do a jumping jack? Your feet begin to spread out, right? Now, you also jump, but I'm not going to make him jump. Then I would press F6 again, and I would I could move his hands up a little bit, and move his feet out a little bit. And then I could press F6 again, and I could move his hands. So you see you see how that's going to work, right? That's that only works if you use the line tool to draw the you know the the limbs of the, on the body the arms the legs and all that it only works if you use the line tool and you have to use the black arrow tool to like grab where his hand would be and move it around and reposition it so you press F6 and just kind of keep working on positioning it all right now let me show you how it's going to work if you do it the other way I'm going to do file and new here and start a new action script 3.0 all right now this time I'm going to do with a paintbrush and I don't care which way you do it. All right, I'm getting a paintbrush with black paint, kind of a medium-sized brush. That's a little big. I'm going to undo that. I want the brush to be a little bit smaller. It's better. All right, so I'm going to draw his head, and then I'll draw a neck, and then I'm going to put his arm down, and this arm down. Body, leg, leg. All right, now that's how he's going to start off. All right, now I press F6 to add a new frame. And remember this, I don't want to press F7 because I want to keep my my guy here. Now, if, if you're going to do it by using the paintbrush, here's what I would have to do. I would have to take the eraser. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for the eraser is the letter E. And I would have to actually erase his arms and his legs. And then I would go back to the brush and I would draw his arms up at a little higher. Now you could use onion skinning here. And maybe I'll come down here and turn on my onion skinning. Set my markers. And I could draw his feet out a little wider. See when I turned on my onion skinning, I can see where it was. All right, now I'll press F6 again. And I would have to erase. His arms. Now I can see, remember I can see the previous frames. I turned on my onion skinning so I can see the previous frames. I'll go back to the brush. His arms need to come up a little higher. His legs need to go out a little higher. This, th this dude's going to be doing the splits before this is over. All right, I'll press F6 again. I'm going to take the eraser tool, erase the arm. Erase the legs. And again, I've got those those gray images there because I turned on my onion skinning. All right, I'm going to make his hands come up and begin to kind of bend over his head like this. We'll spread him way out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to press F6 again. Now this is going to be what I would call the top of my cycle. 
Now the arms are going to start to come back down. So I'm going to raise the arms. Erase the legs. Get my brush back. Start bringing the arms back down. Start bringing the legs back in. Press F6, same thing. All right, see, if you're going to use it, if you're going to do it with the paintbrush, then you wind up doing some brushing and erasing. If you're going to do it with the line tool, well, that's different. I showed you how you can do it with the line tool. I don't care which way you do it. You can do it either way you like. And if the if you know if you turn on the onion skinning and it kind of drives you crazy because you can see all these versions of the of the stick figure, well then turn the onion skinning off. All right, I'm going to press F6, bring back my eraser. Erase the legs. Back to my brush. B B for brush, E for eraser. Keyboard shortcuts can really help you on this one. All right, going to press F6 again. E for eraser. I like to have both hands active. You know, I can do keyboard shortcuts with my left hand and, and keep my mouse or my pen in my right hand. All right, arms are going to come down more now. Legs are going to come together more. That's going to be the bottom of my cycle right there. Now, what did I use? I'm going to go ahead and turn off onion skinning. Did I use eight frames? I think I used eight frames. And if I drag this little time indicator through here, tick, 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 tick. There's my jumping jack. The arms go up, and then they come back down. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I used eight frames. Now, remember, you got to use at least four frames to do your cycle. This is a cycle. It starts with hands down, up, up, up back down 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 that's a cycle that's one jumping jack all right well now here's where we finish this off the rest of this is so easy it's so easy it should be illegal I'm gonna click and drag across these frames on the timeline right here just click once and drag across and uh, then you gotta let go of the mouse all right, so it's a it's a, that's a one thing that's a one stroke motion. You click and drag until you get the frame selected, and then let go. All right, you don't want to click and then come back and drag this frame. That's going to mess it up. All right, so it's got to be click and drag to get these selected. Let go of the mouse. Now come here to any of these selected frames and do a right click and copy them. Oh, this is going to get so easy. Copy the frames. Now click in the next empty frame right here, do another right click and paste them. Paste frames. Oh. Now just keep doing that. Go to the next empty frame, right click, paste frames. Go to the next empty frame, right click, paste frames. 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 Now, you know, I, I said he's got to do at least 10 jumping jacks, right? I think that's what I required. So, well, let's just make sure that we get 10 jumping jacks out of this. You know, I need to scroll my timeline, and I don't have a scroll bar. Where is my scroll bar? Right click, paste frames. All right. Well, let's, let's take a look. Let's rewind, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He did ten jumping jacks. I could throw a few more in there if I wanted to. Right click, paste frames. Right click, paste frames. Right click, paste frames. Now, don't go hog wild because I've had people say, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make him like do jumping jacks for, for 30 minutes. No, 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 no. Don't, don't put in like 10,000 frames. All right, so this is what we're trying to do here today. Here it is. We are just making a little stick figure that does 10 jumping jacks. And you have to kind of, you know, you have to kind of work the first one. The first one takes a little bit of work. You got to do the cycle. Uh, make the arms go up, make the arms come down. But then once you do that, it's just copy the frames, paste the frames, paste the frames, paste the frames. Hey, save it when you're done. Um, just network drive, copy, paste. Turn it in on Schoology when you're done. That's it. Let's try it.